Hey guys, it is Kisame Unlimited, and today is the Banless Beatdown segment, and me and Ryan Nesca are going to tackle two new cards, either cards that we would like to see be put on the ban list, or cards to be taken off, or be limited, or semi and be a little bit more nicer to. This month, I decided that I want to tackle a Mad Spectre Tempest. I actually, so far, I do not know what Ryan Nisker is going to tackle, so I'm going to let Ryan Nisker take over right now, and you guys could hear what Ryan Nisker is going to tackle for this month. Also, do not forget to like the video. 800 likes would be the goal, and I would like to continue doing this segment pretty much every month. So if you guys would like to see this segment more often, liking the video shows me that you care, and I make sure to deliver on my side and continue to do it for you guys. Hey, what is up, guys? Ryan back here with the next episode of Banlist Beatdown. Today, the card I'm going to be tackling is one that seems pretty innocent and harmless at first, but is totally not great for the game, in my opinion. That card is Level Eater, a tiny level 1 dark insect type monster with 600 attack and 0 defense, and its effect reads, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one level 5 or higher monster you control and reduce its level by 1, and if you do, special summon this card. This face-up card on the field cannot be tributed except for a tribute summon. So it's kind of like a Treeborn Frog, but with like less restrictions, I mean a lot less restrictions, and like you can kind of summon it whenever you want. It's pretty free, um, but like, what's the worst it can do? So getting on into why I would like to see Magic Spectre Tempest go from three to limited. The reason why I would like to see Tempest at limited is because every Magic Spectre player plays Magic Spectre Tempest at three. And thanks to Toad and Fox, they get it so quickly. And being able to just tribute a win monster and be like, all right, now just Pendulum Summon next turn and basically get a new Tempest and negate whatever play you're going to make next turn is pretty critical to the game. These days, Magic Spectres are tacked in with almost anything. You got Pendulum Magicians, you got Odd Eyes, you got Metal Foes, you got it just tacked in with normal card of demise. Plus, you could just use them in pure variants. That's how good Magic Spectres are, because Magic Spectres have a great back row heavy setup spam ready for you. And that's what makes them so good. You got already Tornado, which is an amazing card. Plus, they already have Tempest, which sets out and locks so much stuff down, including they could still use Warning. Plus, they could use three strikes. So their back row heavy spamming capabilities outweighs most of what your opponent could possibly bust out. And I really, really like Magic Spectres. And people are going to be like, oh, leave Magic Spectres alone. But that's the point of the Banless Beatdown segment. I'm going to beat down a card that I think should get a little bit of a nerf or a card I would like to see come back. Although small, unfortunately due to its poor design, it takes a huge toll on the metagame of Yu-Gi-Oh. Just look at how it was quickly banned in the OCG because it was just running rampant in Dark Synchro. Level Leader has always snuck its way into these crazy combo decks, and that's because its effect and cost are so free and easy to manipulate with any Synchro deck. Not only does it pretty much not have a cost, but its cost allows the user to manipulate any level they want. And that's a pretty huge factor, especially when you're bringing in another free level one monster to synchro with. So you have a ton of manipulation and variation on what you could actually synchro summon. You don't have to just see the level of the monsters you have on your field and be like, okay, this is what I can summon. But you actually have a lot of variation on what you could do with them. You take the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! and you look at a lot of the crazy, insane, long-term combos that came up with stuff like Quasar and like Infernity Loops, and you kind of see along the path, the level leader has always snuck its way into these massive combos. And it's for that reason that it just allows you to manipulate almost any monster to hopefully get out to any synchro monster. And I personally think that Magic Spectre Tempest is not like busted, but I do feel like a good comparison for you guys that I can give you is that, now you see, Magic Spectres can sit on Tempest, Tornado, and just pass to the opponent. Now, spellbooks would go from Library to Secrets to Master to Fate, and then Fate to Banishing, whatever your opponent would do, and kind of corrupt their play. Kind of like what Tempest does, but Tempest is better, because they're very version is basically Tornado, but Tempest can just negate anything, which is basically a better version of Fate, and at the end of the day, Fate was limited, and Tempest is running amok at three, and at the end of the day, we have lost Magic Specter Kieran to limited, but at the end of the day, Kieran and Magic Specters are just as strong as they were when they first were made. At the end of the day, people could say, well, you could easily just hit Magic Specter Fox or Magic Specter Toad, but I think that hitting multiple monsters really do not really change the quality, that I think that if just a simple set to one could really dramatically change what makes Tempest so busted. 
A popular counter-argument for not banning Level Eater is that maybe it's just not the problem card. Maybe there are just a ton of other really stupidly broken cards in Yu-Gi-Oh that need to be dealt with before this card. People used to say, oh, you know, it's Quasar and Hyper Librarian and Formula Synchron that are the problems. But now what people are saying is maybe it's Cyframe Omega, because the new deck that Level Eater is being abused in is that insane hand loop with Cyframe Omega. But Omega is really the card that takes the card out of your hand, so why is Level Eater the, the card that should be banned? But what it all comes down to is just the poor design of Level Eater once again. You know, another counter argument is like, oh, you need it in the graveyard to be able to use it. But come on, it's a low level dark monster. How many times can we get it into the graveyard with Mathematician, Foolish Burial, Armageddon Knight, Dark Reaper? The list goes on and on and on. So it's just way too easily abusable. It's a free special summon and it doesn't really have a cost and it just keeps coming back with no restrictions. The last thing I want to say about Magic Spectres as my closing argument of why I would like to see Tempest get limited is that I believe that Magic Spectres desperately do need a nerf because they're constantly in our metagame. They have been topping a few regionals and a few YCSs here and there, and they're not dying out. You constantly see them in top 16, top 32, and you kind of say to yourself, like, this deck kind of, like, fuses and kind of mixes with so many decks, like I stated before. What could you possibly do to this deck and take away from it? to give that deck a nerf and that's when I really sat down and thought about it and I kind of said you know Tempest would be in my opinion the best road to go down I mean they could easily hit Tornado but I think that mostly most Magic Spectre players use Tempest over Tornado and if anything it's like two Tornadoes or one Tornado and three Tempests or two Tempests and one Tornado but mostly it's three Tempests so I would like to see Tempest go to one and I think that's pretty fair to say. Alright so basically that was our beatdown for this month. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to Ryan Isker's channel if you haven't. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. And leave your comments in the comment section below of how you feel about Magic Spectre Tempest and the card that Ryan Isker tackled, because I still don't know what it is. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Do not forget to let us know in the comments down below what you think of these cards. I'd really love to know, especially whether you guys think a level eater is the problem card, or is it other cards that are the problem card. Let us know in the comments down below. Finally, if you like seeing my face and you want to hear more of what I have to say, I unfortunately don't really play Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore, so therefore I don't make Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, but I have started a new channel called Ryan's Rants where I'm just going to be talking about random stuff. So if you want to check that out and see more of me and enjoy seeing me, definitely check out the link to my channel in the description down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you disagree with me, you disagree with me. Leave it in the comment section below. You know, everyone has different opinions, and I will read everyone. And if anyone has a reason to disagree, I'm always open. So leave it in the comment section below. And I hope you guys all have a great day and better tomorrow. And do not forget to check out Ryan Isker. And we'll see you guys next month for another Bandless Beatdown.